Good morning, everybody. Um, I am doing a day in the life vlog today. Sorry, the lighting is terrible. It will get better. Um, I'm still on my little camera, and it just does not do low light well, like at all. It's terrible for low light. I'm hoping to get my regular vlogging camera back soon. So basically, Canon's just replacing it. Um, what, Dixie? Canon's replacing it for like the same price that they would be for fixing it. So I said go ahead and do it. So I'm going to get a new, probably refurbished camera. Um, and hopefully it's on its way. Anyway, today I am up and am early. Um, although I do get up pretty early even in the summer anyway. But I am up 7.20, ready to go. Because I have to go to school this morning. My school does this thing where you can go in in the summer for a professional development day, not a full day, it's like two hours. Um, and that takes place of one of the professional development and service days in the school year, Columbus Day, actually. So I'm all about that. I'm all about three day weekends during the school year. So I'm going to go in today and we had to read a book. Let me go get it and show you guys. It's this book, it's The Deepest Well. Um, it's about how trauma and things affect your students um, throughout their whole life and everything. So that is at eight. I have to leave in like a minute. <laughs> and yeah, then I'm just gonna take you about, you know, along with me in my day today. I also wanna share with you guys what my sister bought us. She got us set up with like a Google Home system with the lights and everything and I just went out yesterday and I got two more lights and I want to install them today but holy guacamole it is so cool like I didn't think I was I don't know it's just I didn't know if I was gonna like it or not I mean it's techie and it's cool but like it's unnecessary and I was like oh, I don't know now that I have it I'm hooked and I'm obsessed and now I want to share it with you. Um, so yeah, I need to hit the road though because work is 30 minutes away. It's 7.25. So I will see you after I do this book study thing in the morning. And then, Remy, what are you doing? Is there a mouse? Uh-oh. What are you doing? Hi. <laughs> I really hope there's not like a mouse or something in there. But anyway, I will catch up with you guys after I get out of school. I really should have vlogged this in the car because the lighting is so terrible in here. But like I said, it will get better. I'm probably going to spend a lot of my time outside today anyway. But, alright. Bye! Question. Who realized that my dress was inside <laughs> the whole time? I literally just got in the car and I looked down and the tag is like on the kind of bottom of it. Um, it's tagless up top. It was inside out. So I had to quick run inside and, and switch it around. Alright guys, I just got out of my meeting and Tony and I have that location tracking thingamajigger from Google on our phones. He works down here. Um, he does like lawn care at different houses. So I'm going to go surprise him. We're going to go surprise him. Um, because he doesn't know I'm coming. And I used to visit him like on my lunch break and stuff at work sometimes. But I haven't been able to do it obviously since summer. So this is fun. See where he's at. I'm vlogging. What? Say hi, I'm vlogging. <laughs> All right, I am back home now, back from school, back from surprising Tony, and I went to Target um, to pick up some stuff. Oh my gosh, my hand. I'm hope this is probably so shaky. <laughs> I'm using my really big camera right now to film this because I don't want to deal with the low light issue again, but man, this is heavy. Anyway, and I have a big lens on it. That's probably why it's so heavy. So I have been wanting a steam cleaner for a while now, and I saw this one called the Bissell Fresh Slim. Very excited to use that. And then I also got a little sweatshirt that I thought was really cute. I want to show you guys. Um, it's just striped with bright colors. It has this little like, soft heart over for my heart it's cute though um i saw this the other day and i didn't get it and i saw it again i was like you know when you see something twice that you really want if you still want it the second time around you might want to get it okay so now that i am home 
I think the plan, well, first I need to eat. Um, oh, I want to show you guys the Google thing. So hold on, wait, wait for this. Hey, Google, what time is it? It's 11.59. Hey, Google, what's the temperature outside? The current temperature is 85. So I do want to show you the Google stuff that my sister got me. I've been loving it, like I said this morning. Um, you can do so much with it. So I have two colored lights that she got me. I had the Google like mini, I think it's called, and then the Google Home Hub, um, and that has a screen I'll show you. But um, yeah, you can like ask it questions, you can schedule things, you can call people but you can't text them. Um, I don't even know everything, honestly, yet. So if you have like a Google system at your house, let me know what all you can do. I know a lot of people have Alexa, but when I went to Best Buy with my sister and we talked to the guy there, um, he basically sold me on the Google Home system more than Alexa. He just said that like, first of all, Alexa goes off of the search Bing um, and Google goes off of well, Google. <laughs> um, I don't know. It's just it, from talking to him, it sounded more something that I would like. I mean, they're so similar. Like, it doesn't matter which one you get. I'm sure they're both very good. And it's just, an, it's a silly, I mean, you don't need it. So like, it doesn't matter anyway, if it's not, you know, which one you choose. But I, I do like the Google one so far. Um, plus I have a Google Chromecast hooked up to my TV. If I don't have a smart TV, that's how you make your TV smart. You just like plug one of those things in. Um, and since I already have the Google Chromecast, it goes with that too. Um, you can get so much different stuff. Like they have like uh, smart coffee makers now and all this stuff. They have smart plugs. So I don't know if I'm gonna get too crazy and get all of that stuff, but it is way more addicting than I thought. Like we use it for our um, alarm in the morning. I use it for music constantly. That's like my favorite thing. And then you can sync. So I have one speaker, the mini, up in the bedroom and I have the bigger one down here in the living room and you can put them in a group and so you can play one song on both and then it just kind of like you have the, your music throughout your house. Okay, so this is the Google um, Hub. Oop, <laughs> Ray Remy. Well, this is a total fail. So this is the Hub and it is touch screen. I really don't use the touch screen because you can do everything through voice. So if I said, hey Google, do I have anything on my calendar for today? Sorry, I can't find anything on your calendar for then. That's because it's summer, Google. Hey, Google, how much wood could a woodchuck chuck? Thank you for this thoughtful question. Every woodchuck is different, each with their own hypothetical chucking abilities. Still, from my read of the literature, one would have to chuck at least their own body weight to be competitive. <laughs> That's the one I have there. I have it on this cute little table in our entryway. This was like our old little hub that says the weather and stuff. Um, but now we have a Google, so I don't know, I might get rid of that little guy. Okay, so the other one is up here in the bedroom on our little dresser. I wanna paint this white so bad. I wanna paint it white and then like rough it up, you know? That'd be a really good summer project actually. But anyway, back to my point. Here's the Google Mini. Super cute little guy. Um, and he just sits there and he controls that light. So, if I say, hey Google, turn on the light. Sure, turning on light too. Hey Google, turn on the light to purple. Sure, changing light <laughs> two to purple. Hey Google, turn on the light to candlelight. Sure, changing light two to candlelight. So yeah, that's basically what I've been using it for. I've been using it for music and um, lights. And I have two more lights to install that I picked up yesterday. They're not colored. I don't use the colors. I just use like warm white, candlelight, bright white, you know, this, the normal, the normal lights. Um, so yeah, I have to install those today. But right now I am going to make myself some lunch. I am going to probably unpack that steamer because I'm very excited honestly about it. I cannot wait to go cleaning crazy with a steam cleaner and just like disinfect everything because I got one that's handheld too. Um, it's not just a mop so you can like take it and go into the bathroom, go into the um, shower, you know, whatever. I'm just going to disinfect and clean everything. I'm going to feel so good when I'm done. I'm excited. Let's go make lunch though.
The last bark box we got for Dixie was like all about workout stuff and she got a little dumbbell. Isn't that the cutest thing? Do you want your dumbbell? Do you want your dumbbell? No? Okay. Oh, Remy does. I made ham and bean soup, like a huge batch of it, um, that we're going to eat later this week. But I made so much. I froze some. Um, but now I have some in here. I'm just gonna heat up for myself. I did it with like a full on hand bone, so I'm pumped. It's gonna be really good. So we have been getting really into canning. Um, it started last year, and then this year we got a pressure canner. Um, so that way you can you can do different kinds of canning. Like the other one was called a water bath canner. You can only do so much with that. But this one's a pressure canner. So I've already canned like chicken noodle soup this year the other things that we like to can this is water bath can but um is pickles but last year our cu cu cucumbers were terrible so we actually pickled with zucchini believe it or not and i have already a ton of zucchinis yep um so i think this weekend we're going to can with those so for canning zucchini you literally just do the same recipe uh, i think i think we did the same recipe don't hold me to that. But it was very similar, if anything. And they're so good. Like, I will show you. I think we have one left. But the relish we made as zucchini, zucchini relish, was amazing. So here is a can of the zucchini pickles. And then I also did some jam this year. This is strawberry jam. And I did clover jam let me bring you over to the light for this because it's really pretty actually so this is the clover jam that we made isn't that so pretty um i literally went out into the yard and picked clover to make this and then you make like a clover tea and then you make it into jam and it tastes honestly like a mild honey it's really good so we love doing that stuff um we love having a garden our dream honestly here i need to get our dream is actually to um, homestead, and that just means like a small farm, basically. Um, that's like definitely what we're trying to work towards, and um, we've even talked about doing that and also having a second channel where we can share basically just like our journey with starting from a piece of land and having a garden and having chickens and whatever else. Um, and just sharing that with the world and like, you know, our successes and our failures and just our life as a family too. Like, I want to have kids in the future. I'd love to share about being a mother and raising kids. Um, I just, I love, I've been watching like those channels like crazy and I love the mommy YouTubers and the homesteading YouTubers and then the ones that kind of combo it are my absolute favorite. Homemade ham and bean, I threw in some it's kind of my own recipe honestly i threw in some tomatoes a little bit too there's not much actual ham in here i feel like what do i have like one slice where did it all go you know when you dish out soup sometimes i feel like it's not always even but anyway i added a little spinach in here too just to add some more green and veggies but i'm pumped to eat this so i'm about to unbox this but look look how cute they are oh my god You guys are the sweetest things ever.
share with you guys my Young Living Essential Rewards for the month. Um, if you don't know what Essential Rewards is or Young Living, Young Living is an essential oil brand that I love. And then Essential Rewards is basically a monthly order that you do. And because you're signed up for it, you get like discounts and you can collect um, points that you can put towards things. It's not like a subscription though because you do get to choose everything. You get to choose how much you spend and all of that good stuff. But I love it so much. Changed my life completely. Um, and it's not like you're constantly buying more. It's like you're replacing products that you used to use in your household um, and now you don't. So for example, the one that I ordered is the Thieves Household Cleaner. This is 14 0.4 fluid ounces. However, this is a concentrate. Uh, so what that means is it makes way more than one bottle. Um, I actually measured it, measured it the other day when I was making it. So I used two capfuls, two little capfuls like this, and it's like almost an ounce. It's not even an ounce per bottle, and I fill up like a big brown well, do I have it up here? Oh, I don't think I have it up here. But I fill up a bottle, like about, I don't know, like that big, and then a squirt bottle. Um, and you just put two capsules in there. You fill the rest up with water. So I'm getting, like, I would say more than 14 bottles, maybe more like 15, 16, honestly, out of this whole thing. So the thing with essential oils is it's usually, it seems expensive for the initial cost, but then it lasts you so long and then on top of that you're not using nasty chemicals in your home it's clean it's plants this is all made from oils from plants like you can't get any better than that so I got that and then I also got three oils the first one is lavender um, I'm sure you guys know a little bit about lavender but it's just it's calming I use it for sleep. I use it honestly just for a good scent in the room too. It's kind of like mood boosting and relaxing at the same time. Uh, there's so much you can do for lavender. I'm actually growing lavender in my garden right now and oh my gosh it smells so good. But I just need a refill on this because this is probably one of the oils that I use I would say the most. It's definitely like my regular daily kind of oil that I always go to um, especially at night. And then Another one that I got was bergamot. This is another refill for me. This one is very citrusy. I love to diffuse this. It's such a fresh scent, and it's like a scent that makes you feel more awake. I love it. Um, I love all the citrus ones. So I have this one. I have tangerine. I have orange, citrus fresh, lemon. Like mm, They're all so good. And then the other thing with essential rewards is if you spend so much Sometimes they give you freebies, and I don't spend a ton. Like, I really limit myself um, per month and control myself when I'm buying this stuff. So, you still, you know, like, you can get a freebie when you're not spending a crazy amount. And this one was citronella. So, I got that this month as a little freebie. And I do use citronella all the time. I have made a DIY um, bug spray, and it has citronella in it, peppermint, lemongrass, tea tree, lavender, I think that might be it. It's, it's amazing. This bug spray, first of all, works so well. Oh my gosh, so well. You don't have that sticky, nasty feel. Tony and I were talking about it and we, it's actually refreshing. I think the peppermint in it, you mist it all over you and it like cools you down too. It smells so good and you don't have chemicals just like soaking into your body. The last thing I got is something that I have seriously grown a need for um, it's if I don't have it if I run out I can totally notice a difference it is the deep relief um, roller bottle that they that Young Living makes now I will say you can make your own now I will say you can make your own um, I have before but for some reason I just feel like this one it just it works better for me maybe I'm not putting enough drops in mine I don't know, but theirs just works so well. So it's, like it sounds, deep relief. You're getting relief of your muscles. Um, if you work out and you have sore muscles, this would be great. I use it for tension. Tension headaches, tension in my neck. I have such a problem with that. I'm constantly fighting it. Um, even just today, I woke up with a headache and my neck was all stiff. And it's like times when I don't even think I'm stressed. But my body must be, you know? So, um, yeah, this is what it looks like. 
and I'm going to pop this on. It's You smell like wintergreen peppermint when you wear it. When I wear it to school, the kids are like, you smell like toothpaste. And then for headaches, I just put it right on my head or on my temples. Um, if you ever want to get into essential oils or just want more information, I love to share about them because I have fallen in so much love with them and I use them so much. So don't ever hesitate to comment below or DM me on Instagram and ask me like anything. Like there's no stupid questions. Ask me anything about them. I love to talk about them um, as a, anyone would of something that they like. So don't be afraid to chat with me. And I always do keep my startup kit um, link down below. That's the best way to kind of get just going with essential oils is get a starter kit because you like can dapple in all the different ones, the main ones that you're going to use a lot. Um, and I can give you more information about that too. But that link, if you're just like, yep, I'm ready to go. That's always in my info box. You guys, I cannot make this stuff up. Dixie wasn't comfortable. She went down from the bed to her little bed and Remy got all upset and meowed and went down there to cuddle with her. All right, you guys, I'm going to wrap up the vlog here because I think I'm just going to relax outside and read. And then Tony will be heading home and we'll be making dinner. So I hope you enjoyed this day in the life of kind of just like a casual day home. Be sure to leave a comment below and say hi. I love chatting with you guys. I want to know how your summer is going. Tell me if you've gone away on vacation or you're more of like a stay home kind of person and relax. Let me know in the comments below how your summer is. Also, if you're not already subscribed, be sure to do that before you go. Give this video a thumbs up and I will catch you in my next video. Bye.